So one of the uh, first RC airplanes I actually flew was the Sport Cub S2 from Hobby Zone. It's this one. And this, uh, I have to say, this has to be you know, one of the easiest to fly uh, RC airplanes there are really because it's so small, it's so lightweight and it does feature AS3X and safe um, stabilization so you know, if you have this flight mode it's super stable then you have two more flight modes so you can you know, turn everything off or you can have it slightly stabilized. Uh, so, I mean, it doesn't have the power because it does use, use a brush motor with a gearbox inside. So, to me at least, I don't think it's that agile uh, to do loops and rolls and, and things. I think you have to really fight or you know, dive uh, in order to get a nice looking loop. Um, and it certainly cannot fight uh, if you have you know, high winds because it doesn't have the power to do that. But nevertheless, I think it's just nice and it's so easy if you face the wind just to hover and uh, maybe kill the throttle altogether or just have the, the prop spin, you know, in a very slow speed. And it turns nice, it's, it's, a, it's a nice one, so I think I will just go and fly and show how it flies. So here I am, it's a lovely fall day with the clear blue sky and um, with me I have a box of uh, LiPo batteries, the one cell. And uh, I like to use the 220 milliamp batteries because I think they give a nice flight time. These are expensive also, so I really, you know, I like them. They are nice. And they also fit this one. And of course I'm using my trusted DX8 to fly it. I have to hand launch it. As you can see to my right I have the sun and I have actually a headwind coming from my left shoulder uh, going you know, straight away from me. It's so going downwind then I'm facing the wind and I can almost come to a standstill. And I have to say today is actually a little bit too windy for comfort, but I, I thought I should challenge my myself, and um, as this one is so so forgiving to fly. And I like this. Face the wind, kill the throttle, and just glide. And it's also nice to see it when it comes really close, which I think is an advantage to this location. I have a bit of wide spot to the right, and then there's a na narrow passage uh, when I'm in the airplane near me. So when I'm filming, uh, you can actually see the airplane, and today with the sun like this, I think it looks excellent. And it's actually over the parking lot over here where I have a lot of wind gusts coming and going. So I have to be careful because this one is so light. So I, I presume if there would be like a really strong gust, it will just sweep the airplane away. As you can see, it's quite bobbing from the wind. It's almost a standstill when I face the wind. I 
if I would describe how to fly this one, I would say that it, it is quite relaxing. Uh, especially because it's so slow, but also it flies so so steady. So I can, you know, just enjoy it. And actually, if you think about it, it, it might be actually a little bit boring to fly when there is no wind, because it, it, it's, it's actually an element which you have to uh, take into cons consideration. And, um, I mean, to, to face the wind and to have it almost hover, uh, or to pick up speed and go uh, downwind and compensate for these wind gusts, uh, I think um, it's, a, it's a good... Uh, challenge to you know to have something that is not super safe and here I'm out of safe so I have definitely more banking although I think it's a bit it's a bit too too risky because the wind gusts they are not to, to play with And I had a couple of uh, previous flights before this flight, uh, but uh, and I tried to do a few loops, but uh, it was too too windy really. I couldn't have the I couldn't get the, the power to really do a nice loop. So I said to myself, I just better you know fly it uh, and show how it flies. The turns are really tight with this one. It's no problem just janking the uh, the sticks, both the ailerons and the rudder, and have it almost turn on a dime if you like to. Is also out of safe. As you can see, I have uh, much more banking ability. Oops, close one. I think I must have bumped into something because it looks like the battery is hanging from under the plane, so I better land this and uh, make this flight end or nose over anyway it was a nice flight I have a few seconds on my timer left and you know it's a nice flying airplane this one you, know, you can see the batteries it didn't really stick to the velcro <laughs> this time <laughs> but anyway a nice flight so that was a nice flight and uh, i have to say the this one is really nice if you're a beginner i think it just will be a perfect one because it's so you can fly so slow with it and uh, it's actually you know fairly inexpensive you can get it in both a bnf if you have a already a spectrum but if you're a beginner you might opt for the rtf version which is you know nice it got a good enough controller that it comes with uh, i mean in, in, even if you crash this one i don't think you will really have any real damage to it because it's so light so for me at least it's like two thumbs up because it's a nice little fire.